Hey everybody, welcome to the episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my show about great products from small companies. Now today, I am taking a look at the Salvora Technopole Scenery Expansion Pack from Corvus Belli. This is the add-on pack to their fantastic cardstock train set. Uh, standalone train set that was first featured in, I believe, Operation Wildfire, um, and then is in the Code 1 box set as well, and now it's available separately. This is an add-on pack, and what's great about it, what's so great about it, is it adds um, an ITS objective building, you get a cool console model, a sniper tower, bridges, a couple more buildings, it's just the perfect thing to like round out that cardstock collection, add a few different building types, and of course, the, the addition of like a objective room means that all those cool ITS missions um, that you need that specific piece of train for, you now have access to one. Uh, and actually two, because it's all double-sided just like the previous train packs were. So I built one today for you to check out. Let's take a look right now. And so here it is all assembled and glued to the Salvora Technopole Scenery Expansion Pack. I got some of the Code 1 buildings here to the side just so that you have a scale reference. And so what do you get? You're gonna get two big bridges uh, designed to link any of the uh, buildings of the same height together. Now these two new buildings, which are reversible, um, so that you can actually have four different ones, I've done two of the, the variants here, um, are the same height as the large buildings from the previous train kits. So you can link these together, large to small, or you could link, for instance, two of the short ones together if you want. Now there's also these, which are stairwells. They're a bit too big for, or too small, too small for the uh, small buildings, but they allow you to add stairwells and entrances to both the large buildings and the new buildings as well, and just sit underneath, um, like so. A uh, nice spacious base as well, stairwells, so that your bases can fit inside. You get a sniper tower, which is again reversible, so you can make two different ones if you want. You can see the inside. There's a whole other color scheme. Um, and it again has a stairwell going all the way to the top. And then finally you get your objective building, which is really, it has interior detail. There's actually a ladder and a ledge where you can go and kind of like camp inside if you want. You get a console that can be placed somewhere. Um, and then you get actually like doors uh, so that your gates, your access gates actually open and close. And a really neat thing is if you look, the lettering is actually reversed. So it actually is like correct. It's such a cool detail. It's actually correct interior and exterior uh, for your objective room. And it's an eight by eight objective room, which you'll use in all your ITS missions. So what this is designed to do obviously is to add to the current existing terrain, but it is um, a legal 150 point game, like table size as well. So you could obviously play a game on this. It comes with this mat. Um, and if you wanted to have, right, like a little, a little fight session, you could use these as like, mini bridges, you know what I mean? And play a game, it fills the, it fills the boards up like fairly nicely and when you're playing objective remissions, this is infinitely high, right? So it's it's gonna block line of sight all the way across the board and give you more than enough to fight over. Ash and I sat down and built this in about an hour and they even made some design improvements where everything tabs together slightly easier. Um, the previous buildings, the notch here, uh, to put these things on at the bottom, you, you would tend to bend these, but it's actually, it's designed in such a way now that it sits on flat and you don't have to like, you don't get any of these bends. If you look at, where's the ones I built before? Is it these ones? This one right here, see? It's kind of like warped at the bottom. It's because I had to kind of like force it in at the end um, to get it to align. And it's fine, I mean, I glued the hell out of it, right? So it's not going anywhere. But just like changing the tab slightly, it was a big quality of life improvement. The one thing I will mention um, is that when you're pushing stuff out, always push it from the die cut side out. We had a couple moments where Cash was like, daddy, daddy, daddy. You can see he ripped um, the exterior detail because he was pushing the die cut, the die cut end out and because it's not perfectly cut on this side, it ripped out slightly. So just push from the side that isn't where the die cut is and they'll pop out just fine every single time. Um, also, when you do your designs, make sure that you pick which ones it is you wanna leave in. He just punched all of these and to do the alternate version where the other side is facing out, you would need these holes, but because we didn't use them, um, we could just leave them flush. I just kind of glued some odd bits back in to make sure that there wasn't just random holes in the wall because uh, he got enthusiastic and was helping me punch out everything to, to build it, obviously, um, and spent a, a good couple hours actually playing on this stuff <laughs> before I took it to work. We sat and built it together. So yeah, uh, I have to say this is a fantastic expansion. Like I already love these. I've gushed about these forever. Um, these are some of the nicest cardstock terrain and just like, it, it's just how aware Corpus Belli is of how important terrain is in their game that they make this wonderful, inexpensive, ready to go to the box train pack. This add-on, uh, I've played one game on it so far, makes this terrain, like I want a second set of this. I don't need the objective room building, although I could just use it 
maybe make a roof for it and have it be like a non-objective room. Um, but like, I want a second set of all of this because adding like the catwalks, adding the stairwells, like it just changes the dynamic of just having sort of like these classic square buildings into having a whole bunch of different heights. Uh, you have all kinds of non-standard line of sight all of a sudden. And the sniper tower in of itself is just like a, a, a huge add on, a wonderful bonus. So I'll probably get a second one of these just so I can make all the variants. Like I wanna get a second one of the code one ones as well when they're available separately so I can do those variants too. And that way with, I have two of the wildfires and one of the code ones and one of these, those four sets is like a just a perfectly fine infinity table with all the scatter tip terrain that it came with. And now that I can also play all the objective room missions uh, by having this added on and having it look like the part and look the same, I'm pumped. It, this is a this is a really good like follow up to what I thought was a great initial like product. So there you go, another great cardstock terrain kit from Corvus Belly and a great follow up to their original um, cardstock terrain. Uh, I have to say, like, obviously, the, the th we, I used to make a joke with Owen, the third player in any Infinity game is the table. Um, and this is just another roadblock to being able to play Infinity fun and competitively on a great looking table that Corvus Belly has now removed. Um, and and like I I couldn't be happier with this kit. I think this kit's fantastic, and I'm pumped to um, play some more games on it. Owen's been painting up some new military orders because the new military order list just dropped. He's super excited about it, and we'll be filming some games soon. And yeah, and let's uh, let's let's do some objective remissions. Play some panic room and other crazy stuff with this. Anyway, right, we'll see you next week for more Infinity and of course uh, more Widgets and Wonders. Till then, I'm Ash. Have a I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future, who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.